Oh yeah, it's really happening. We're back. Oh yes, we're back, baby. We're back. Look at this. This little cradled, like a little beautiful newborn child that I get to raise and drink. That sounds crazy, I know, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Yo, what is up with y'all? Back with another one today featuring an old best friend, clearly, Dr. Diet Pepper. We were able to source it. Shout out Walmart for finally having it. Not in cans, but hey, I'll take a bottle at this point. Honestly, I've been jolting that hard. Uh, that said, though, I got this new KFC chicken sandwich that came out. It's supposed to be like this famous home style one. I don't know why it's so different than the Big Crunch, but I will say this immediately. It's already pretty much looking like it's gonna let me down uh it's just kfc i just i always want to give it the benefit of the doubt because it is good like it has great aspects to it it's just they never execute on the actual product like construction or something like that i don't know but it's something that they need to really really work on um before we get into a bite of it of course we must pour so in honor of the uh So in honor of our friend here, of course, we got the DP diet. Maybe just a moment of silence for this one, you know what I mean? All right. Grip it and rip it. Oh, it's been too long since you and I have had a rendezvous, but let's do it. You miss this face, baby? <laughs> My Christopher Walken of drinking pop. Okay, so poutine. This new sandwich, home style, very simple, mayo, pickles, and the chicken, two pieces of chicken, their barbecue sauce, which, which by the way, is actually quite bangerang, and uh, this home style coleslaw. Uh, first things first, we must respect the poutine by disrespecting it, of course, with ketchup, but I love it with ketchup, so actually, because that's a hot ticket item. I want to get to that first. Still got some steam coming off it, looking good. Can always appreciate the gravy still having steam. Oh, shout out the coldest water as well. But I am excited for this. This is one of their better items, is the poutine. Certainly, uh, I always approve of a KFC poutine. Mm -hmm. Very, very good. Okay. So this was supposed to be like this extra crispy style battered chicken breast thing but like look at this come on kfc just like what what are you doing this buns all squished and brutal you gave me this like i don't even know what that is like is that even why does it shape like i don't know it's such a weird shape it's not even like a breast type style thing mayo just slapped all over it and then like the three of these pickles just barely like applied and I don't know, it just, it's like, come on. The pickles do look good, but 
It's just always kind of disappointing with KFC. The bun seems good too, actually. Mm. The uh, chicken's juicy, it's tender. It all tastes good. I think I'm just like a aesthetic food perfectionist. That's really my problem. Mm, those pickles are good though. I just, according to the picture on the website, it just looked like it was going to be more of like a full, substantial sandwich, you know what I mean? Especially if it's like some new thing that you're trying to... Like impress people with. I feel like it should be... Like the big crunches are usually the patty or whatever is like that, pretty thick. So it's just a little, a little bit of a letdown, you know, but it sucks because all the flavors are there. Like it is good. Coleslaw is great. poutine one more time and then head over here drumstick seems nice and crispy not uh, not uh, you know kind of steamed I feel like sometimes you get chicken from here and it comes kind of a bit almost soggy steamed I will say this though KFC's barbecue sauce is crazy good. Like crazy good. None of this uh, bullseye grandpa's armpit stuff, you know? This is the good stuff. Nice and sweet. A little bit of smoky, but mostly sweet. Good amount of vinegar tang to it, but not super vinegary. question I wonder how it is on the sando probably amazing mm -hmm. I'm getting risky here spilling Sandwich is good, nothing special. Really just wish 
they would have just shown it a little more tender love and care. I'm also bummed that I've still never tried the Popeye's chicken sandwich. I don't have a Popeye's where I'm at, but I gotta say, that sandwich looks legit. It looks substantial. Looks like they care when they make it. Popeyes is just really legit as like a company. It's hard to contend with. Like all their products are solid. This, however, is uh, low-key appreciated. I ordered the box, and the box comes with one drumstick, and then there was an option to add another drumstick for a dollar, and uh, they gave me this more substantial, kind of white piece of meat, which I prefer over drumsticks. I just got it because it was the only thing available in the options, but uh, to get this piece, and finish off with this is nice with a nice final heavy bbq saucy drizz We might be in the uh, in the upper thigh part. Still dark meat, more substantial though. Still good. I wish I knew how KFC achieved their flavoring. And they're better. Because it is unique. And extremely tasty. I detect heavy amounts of MSG though. That's what I would definitely say. Accent is what some people call it, or what it's also called. AKA salt on crack. amount of food perfectly refreshing finish of the meal I'm fortunate that that chicken sandwich just wasn't what I was expecting but for the most part pretty solid all right chill one today it was more just in a very food mood um, till the next one you know what to do eat good live well Stay true.